okay guys welcome to this new video and today we'll be trying to design this card this um as you can see transparent card with uh, like um this cycles in the back that are shining and you can see the light through the card is blurred out so is this more like a kind of glass card or transparent card so we'll try to replicate this design in coral draw this is going to be an interesting class so if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe like the video subscribe you can comment on some um, things you don't understand or you can request for um tutorials or you can request for videos you can join our um, telegram group our whatsapp group and you can also get uh, my whatsapp number if you um maybe if you have one or two things to to do so let's get into the video so the first thing we're going to do is to create the background as you can see so we have the black background set so next thing let's get our um cycles so we have one cycle here so that cycle um i'll give it a white color first then let's change the color so we'll use the eyedropper tool to pick this color here so now we'll remove any outline on it next we're going to create this smaller cycle that's up here a smaller one here that's orange then we'll have a big one here this big cycle is purple like this okay so this circle has um darker side to it like this so i think this is okay for is okay for it might not be perfect so when you are um, doing your own um, experiments you can um, you can try it on your you can, you can make it better if you feel maybe we didn't get the position well so next thing we're going to do is to create the card now just to note i haven't tried this before this is the first time i'm doing i'm working on this i haven't um done any ex uh, I've, i haven't tried designing this before so let's create our card let's give it a white background so let's see remove the outline from the card let's curve this card a bit let us be sure we have our dimensions right okay so let's see So let's take this one down here a bit this one here this one up here yes so now we have our card in place now i haven't tried this before but what i think if you look at this there are certain things we see on this card as you can see the outer side as you can see this white edge on this side and you can see we have a kind of um um the color of this cycle as you can see it's on the outline here so it gives you that feel of um it gives this realistic feel okay so what we're going to do now is um we're going to duplicate this out here this card so what we're going to do now is to create just we'll just create a um, duplicate the card make the top one to be black so we can see the outer one well so now we'll increase we'll, so I'll, what we need to do now is just to get an outline like this so we'll highlight everything and go to trim so once we trim we remove the inner one as you can see we have this outer part so now if you hold if while this is highlighted if you hold shift and click on this main card you press c and e to align um, them together so you can now click on this outer one this outer card and bring it inside like this and drop this one down so now if we change the outline color as you can see okay i think we still need one or two adjustments on it okay no we don't need an outline on this just give it a straight color just make sure it touches the edge 
so um i want you guys to comment below if you want us to have live video sessions where we can um where i can answer your questions and maybe do some practicals live so if there's what if there's something you want you can just comment below so we're going to make this outline black for now sorry we are not putting outline on this outer um cards that we created this um kind of outline stuff we created we'll just make it black normal color now if you, if you notice this card you can see it's a bit rough as you can see is it is rough it has this rough texture on it so we're going to do this together we're going to experiment this together so let us see how it goes so first thing i'm going to do is make this card do we make it white or black now i don't know okay let us give it like a dark color like this now let us apply transparency to this card like this so what i'm thinking now is, is if you notice this area here this portion here is brighter than this portion here so what we're going to do we're going to use the interactive fill tool to make this side brighter this side will reduce the darkness a bit like so and this side let us give it something brighter a bit sorry undo that okay as you can see this is something as you can see this is something that i think is, is looking good now we're getting there next thing we're to do we are going to add some texture to this to make it look rough like this so it looks like noise so let's see if we can add noise you go to effects go to noise add noise yes as you can see we have the texture as you can see we have that noisy texture so if we go to spike let's say level let's reduce the level okay let's just leave the level a bit bigger density so let's increase the density then random just play around with all these options here this color here i don't know okay black i'll just say okay so i don't know if this texture is good enough or no let's just undo this noise for now let's try another effect let's try texture cobblestone okay cobblestone roughness size okay size should be very low the width let's try let's just try some random stuffs here so one as the width <coughs> warp okay let's compare with this one no 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 okay i think the first one noise will be better so let us go back to our noise add noise and okay so now i've added the noise so the next thing to do will be to make this to this outline to make it look realistic this outline we fixed here so the first thing we're going to do is um it's not very simple we'll just use our interactive fill tool to pick from one side to the other now this other side here should be white or almost white like this and this other side should be this color here as you can see then the middle here we can just pick black like this so let's see this one okay this one you can hardly notice any of the outline there okay so what we do what we will do here let's select no color first then i think what we should do is to so let's create a white color first what we should do here right click on this and create an empty frame a empty power clip frame 
now every designer have different methods of doing certain things so but this method now i i, I don't know i feel like this method will work so now i've gone into the power clip so what we'll do here we'll just create a kind of box like this make it white like this and apply transparency to one side of the box then now we'll just curve this box like so let's go out and see how it looks so we'll put no color here again as you can see how the edges are now looking as you can see so we'll do the we'll do that for the other side too so we'll pick one like this come down here and we'll place it here and this time around what we'll do is um we'll pick interactive fill here as we did okay no sorry with we'll transparency so we'll just pick one of these colors we used before like this as you can see we have this one here and we have this one by this side so i've gotten that area so the next thing to do as you can see this thing has a kind of blurry um you, you see the cycles are, are you, you, you see them blurred under this um under this card so i have two ideas that we're going to try let's see which one works the first one would be to create make this um, card itself creates an empty power clip of this card then we'll go inside the card now we'll create another box inside this card after creating that box what we'll now do is um, um, make it transparent while transparent I've not tried it before let, let's see what how it goes we'll go to effect we'll go to blur we'll go to Gaussian blur and add some values on this let's come out and see it doesn't make any difference so now let's create a color on this so we have Gaussian blur on it then what we are going to do now is apply some transparency on this okay okay I just thought about something now it won't work let's use another method so here's another method that I am um, I see so we'll highlight this cycle here, we'll highlight this other one, we'll highlight this one, we'll copy them like this. Now we'll go into this card, we'll paste them into this card. Now as they're pasted, if you come out, as you, know, as you can notice that the same they're in the same position inside the card as they are outside. So what we'll do now to create the illusion that these cards are blurry, what we'll do is we'll go inside, then we'll now make this ones apply gaussian blur effect to each of them like so let's see the quantity of the gaussian blur let's see so one other thing we need to do is that if you check this one one other thing we need to do is to use this card to trim off we use this card to cut off the outer areas for instance this card now should trim off look what we'll do let's see the example here now you, you can see the border where this card covers this cycle so we'll just put a box there and highlight that other cycle and chop it off as you can see so we'll do the same for this side you know we have a curve on this side so let's try to replicate that curve so all we have to do is just to chop off this outer side so now you just put it on the same angle where it is you like you click on this outer one and you chop it off like so so you do the same thing you bring it and do the same thing for this side for this other side too you chop it off now this other com this completion of this cycle you are seeing here is from inside the power clip as you can see once you now go into the power clip once you now go into the power clip and now you can now apply gaussian blur effect gaussian blur 
you apply Gaussian blur to this you come out and see how it looks as you can see we have that illusion of blurry um, cycles we're going to the card and do the same thing effects blur Gaussian blur do the same thing for these ones as you can see as you can see it looks good so this outline color this outline okay so as you can see you can also go in and increase the value of or the Gaussian blur you can go and increase the value as you can see so this this is something that I haven't tried before this is the first time I'm trying this as you can see now we can put our text here we'll just say coral draw bold so we'll put this here next thing is to add transparency to this text here let's see if it's how this one is yes so we'll just apply some transparency to it not too much like that coral draw like that so we can also put duplicates come down here and add text you can see Okay, designs you can come down and so this is my whatsapp number just in case as you can see so this is our card you can just put a kind of logo on this side here you can just put a cycle here and something like this make it white now apply the transparency to this apply transparency to this you can just pick one of this text here and just put maybe letter C because you don't have time to create um, logos here for it so just increase transparency and as you can see voila this is our design done and dusted so okay as you can see this cycle is a bit off let's try adjusting it like so so let's adjust it to come down to the edge yes so as you can see this is done with coral draw so you can do your own experiments you can try this you can um, join our join just on the comment section you will see the telegram um, link so you can join the telegram link and once you try this export it and send it to the telegram group so let's see how it looks like and I'm going to give you a rating on your work and and so on so thank you for watching i would like to see your comments and i hope you enjoyed this video if you're not subscribed and um, click on the subscribe button and turn on post notifications make sure to like the video you can share the video to your friends make sure to post comments and see you in the next one